Hi guys, um, this could be interesting. I there is a murder case that was unsolved for over thirty years and is uh, quite a popular, common over the internet. Even if you Google um, the details of the knot that was found in the victim's pocket, there is like a code that was written um, on the note, and everyone was trying to figure out what is this code. Uh, there's been so many suggestions and I started to investigate this knot and to see if I can figure out what, what this is, what did what was it that the victim wrote and guess what I came up with and it does make sense. Um, this is like 33 years ago and, and this is when the mobiles run were not common, in fact they only just started to release mobile handsets. These are one of them types, they were like heavy and as big as a brick. Um, however, uh, the victim was, uh, this case is I believe uh, investigated as in the hands of Vancouver police. And uh, I don't know exactly where she was found, but it was, um, uh, she was found on the side of the road by a truck driver. Uh, it was uh, obvious she was shot. It was obvious that it was a homicide. And um, uh, her identification has remained unknown for so many years. There is no a single clue so far that has led detectives to, um, you know, either her identity or the killer. So here we go. Um, the... Uh, Note has like a um like letters written with uh dot after the letter like s dot o dot s dot and then it's got some numbers okay um the numbers are five digits and um this was a common uh method used around Luxembourg or France at the time and uh, uh, people found it easier to write telephone numbers in uh, letters. The, if you can, um, if you know the, the old type telephone cancers that were like, you have like dialing, uh, like a rounded uh, ring and, um, and then each uh, number has got uh, corresponding letters, or shall I say, uh, three or four letters. Like even today, on the on the hands that you you will find on the telephone that there are letters assigned to the numbers. So, for example, um, a, an area code five two three, one will write L A D lad, which is easy to remember, and it's um. Especially when people were over the phone taking numbers, they will write a note and um, they were very common to use in Luxembourg and France to write a dot after uh, each uh, uh, letter, okay? So if they write a knot and they put S dot, A dot, and then B, A dot, so you've got two letters together, that means the number is repeating, because we know A, B, C are assigned to number one, okay? So if you see B, A dot, that would mean, that would mean one, one. So one, one is repeated, okay? Um, and when I looked at these uh, notes that the victim, uh, I'm assuming she 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 wrote the notes, it's adding up. Uh, I think two of the numbers are adding up to Florida numbers. Um, so um, this could be a possible lead. I've uh, um, I have made a call and um, left a message. I couldn't get hold of. Because I'm in the United Kingdom, I couldn't really get all the Vancouver police. Um, 
uh, but I will try my hardest and I can't see an email where I can email them. I'm going to have to look into that. But I have made efforts to alert um, other uh, organisations that um, may be able to pass this information to the law enforcement. I believe this is the case. That's what I believe. I think I might have cracked this code on that. On the Blue Boy Hotel, Jane Doe, note found in the pocket. It is um, important that she is identified and, you know, her family um, found and uh, so she can be laid to rest and... Yeah, um, see if you can, if you know how to pass details uh, on this case to Vancouver Police, yeah, uh, please do so. If you're or from United States, that would probably be easier for you, because I can say I'm in United Kingdom and the time zone, and I tried calling and said, you're calling out of hours. I tried again, like I said, you might have uh, better ways of communicating with the Vancouver police. Um, so once again, she is uh, known as Jane Doe Vancouver Blue Boy Hotel Pocket Note. And if you want to search um, YouTube or Google, then you will come across uh, loads of uh, articles on this uh, um, lady who was sadly murdered um, anyway I, I'm going to wrap it up here and hopefully this information helps um, thanks for listening take care, bye for now